Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Feed the Beast Continuum. Last time we uh, found enough stuff to make ourselves an iron gear set and then made the Tinker's stuff. Making some good progress here, we also built this. Welcome to my house, if it's even fair to call it a house when it doesn't have walls. Building in this is a little bit of a pain still, because, uh, well, I guess I could build with all cobble, but I do want kind of some wood, and wood it's a little hard to come by because we only get two planks per log. Yes. <laughs> so, we finished the start of the Tinker's stuff last time. Let's look at our quest. It's still like a whole new game. Now, what we unlocked from that was nothing. Well, this thing. Did you know we had ore excavation? <laughs> yeah, but we're not doing that, no. We could go for Baking Bad, which is a coke oven thing. But we're not going to do that either. I think the reasonable thing to do is go for the smeltery. Because once we have the smeltery, all of this stuff will be, uh, well, so much more useful. So we need a smeltery controller, seared tank, seared bricks, smeltery drain, faucet, casting table. Yeah, lots and lots of grout is the <laughs> is kind of what we uh, end up with from that. Uh, so let's, okay, let's dump some stuff here. We don't need our inventory full of junk when we go out to um, try to get this stuff. Alright, so we have a stack of gravel already. That's good. We have a bunch of clay. That is very useful. Uh, the furnace can actually go down here and just leave it. Guess we'll just put this over here for now. I'm sure we'll have to move the stuff about, but that will be good enough. And now let's go get a whole bunch of sand and uh, start this process because, yeah, some of this stuff is going to take roughly forever. Uh, lava here, that's probably good, but maybe not right now. Let's go over here and destroy the world over here instead of over near our base. Uh, but yeah, uh, I'm just going to be mining sand here for a bit uh, until we get another a full stack of sand and then we'll make that and the gravel into grout and start the process. And then I'll be back with you once I have a stack of sand. That is one stack of sand right there. Let's head back home and make this into grout, which I think we can do without the e-fab. Just on a normal crafting table. Where is that lava? That's going to be really useful once we do have the smeltery. Okay, so here, uh, grout. Uh, okay, we need blocks of clay. Fine. So we have 12 of them. Which means we can make 48. Okay. But 48 grout is still, you know, still some. <laughs> so if we start that up, what I am... Okay, so, so let's look at this. Smeltery. So we need a controller. Uh, that's a drain. This is the controller. It's gonna take 10 minutes. <laughs> okay, so let's get eight seared bricks and get that going. Because that's probably gonna be the limiting factor here. All right, that is eight seared bricks. Let's put them in here. I realized something, by the way. Uh, it says 10 minutes. This, these two, uh, three, say a speed up factor of two. Which I think it's just like... Uh, so if we start here, speed up factor three. That is just simply cutting the time it takes into three. So if we put up uh, uh, fourth, our final gearbox, then we'd have a speed up factor of four, which means this, this would take two and a half minutes. Anyway, let's leave that noise uh, there and let's go hunt for more and more sand. Well, I guess more sand. Kind of easy, but more gravel and more clay. Clay is the hard part. That's the balance. Okay, well, my shovel just broke, so we're gonna have to make a new one of those, and that requires the EFAB table, so that's a little bit of a... Uh, that's an annoyance, because, uh, yeah, that's all grinding away over here. This, uh, so, well, it's less than a minute left. We went back home, too, because uh, this is about to set here. Sun's about to set. I couldn't find any clay. I found a bunch of gravel. You saw me mine that, and then mined up sand until my shovel broke. Um, I do have sticks and iron. So that's fine. If we can get the shovel going here before nightfall, that would be great. Uh, that's not gonna happen. Okay. So yeah, the controller. Let's uh, just stash that here for now. 
I'm gonna need many, many more pieces. And even this is taking a fair while, but it's okay. My plan for today is just get into that boat and uh, go on a cruise and see if we can find some more clay that way. Uh, by the way, is there any... Do any of the other pieces require the EFAB? So we needed a... Let's let's find out what we needed first. That's, that's not what I meant to do. Uh, a tank, bricks, a drain. We can check the drain. That was a normal crafting thing. A faucet and a casting table. So tank is... The biggest one that's also crafting. I don't think any of the rest of them require any more than. Aha. Uh -huh. So basically, we're just we're just gonna need more stuff, and then we're fine. So the time is not going to be that much of an issue. Uh huh. It's copper there. It's more gravel here, but it's a little bit deep. The wolf back we spawned in, but I'm not finding any clay here. This is horrible. Where's all my clay, man? This balancing is rough. Oh, that's more gravel. Oh, I see clay. Okay, cool. So we'll get out here and we'll mine here for a bit. Um, gonna try to get as much as I can while standing on the surface to not have to dig underwater. That wasn't that much though. Ah, that's a pity. Okay, we'll get more of this uh, gravel here though. All right, well that's about what's reasonable to do here. Uh, let's put a piece, oop, not that, piece of gravel and some clay on our barks. Then we can use this function. You can see off to the left there, and we can see how much we have in total. Let's carry on carrying on. More clay please. Ooh, yeah, look at that. Right there. Not much mine, unless there's tons hidden under here, but... Nope. But it's some. I think I saw another one over there. Let's just clear away a little bit here and see if we can see any more. No. Alright, uh, where's the boat? Is this more? No, there's gravel over here. Well, fine, we'll take some more of that. Oh. Whoa, okay, hold on, hold on. Uh-huh. That's marble, I think that's not clay. Alright, well I don't wanna I don't wanna deal with that ravine right now, so let's Yeah, let's let's uh, turn around and get out of here. Ooh ooh ooh, we struck gold, and by gold I mean clay. <laughs> it's uh, actually far more scarce than I would have thought. Alright, awesome. Let's see. I could get up. Good. Okay, so now you have 78 sand, 106 gravel, and 148 clay. So we can convert all of these into block form. And. Okay. There we go. 37 blocks. Still have a ways to go, don't we? Get a stack of those. That would be good. Oh god, that scared me. Oh wow, that sound. Ooh. Okay, but look here. Lots of clay. Nice. This is what we wanted. I'm gonna try to get as much as possible of this, and then we probably have to head back home. This is getting a little bit late in the day, but this is worth so much to just get all this, because we'll probably need way more clay after this too. Shovel's being worn out a little bit quickly. Alright, we can't do much about it. Let's focus on the clay. All this gravel though. And the sound is heading. Oh, this is not good. Get this. Get this. Okay, good. And then quickly now, back to the boat. And let's hope I can find my way back home. I mean, I have the... Ooh, wrong way. This way. Go. I have the marker, but... And there's this whole coastline in between. I think I need to be going around here. The marker is not actually home. The marker is that cave. And I didn't put a new marker. Oh yeah, there's the there's the swamp place that's across from us. So that's good. We should be going right here and then up this hill. And it is getting awfully dark now. 
still one. Come on. Just when I reach my bed, there's a zombie right there. Alright, get out of the boat, please. Here we go, let's see if we can just dash into bed. If it'll let us. Hey, it will. Good. We can deal with a zombie later. Or he just burns. Hello. Let's just smack you. What? Okay, whatever. Uh, we need some food. Let's eat some of this tasty toast. Perfect. Now. More of this clay. Wow. Okay. We got almost four stacks of it. That's awesome. All right, so let's make as much grout as we can. Twenty-two. Oh, that's uh, actually a full stack. Cool. So let's throw this in here and let's start making stuff. We um uh don't have stone. I don't actually have much cobble because I used it all to build this floor. That was six. I think another furnace. We're gonna need a piece of glass for the tank, I think. 18 seared bricks. A smeltery drain, a faucet, a casting table. And the tank. Uh, so we need the drain, which I believe... Uh, hold on. Is this. Not that, come on. That's a drain. Cool. Faucets, this. Uh, tables, this. And now we need all of the bricks in the world and then that tank. And the tank... Is a piece of glass in the middle. Yes, so we need one piece of glass. And if we're gonna smelt glass... Actually, I know. Let's uh, smelt up some saplings. Holy sh... Okay. I was... I was not ready for that. This is this is the episode of jump scares for me. Dang, Enderman. I would not mind killing you, but I'm... Well, I do have the armor. Okay. Uh, dirt. Okay. Can I get you here before you, like, teleported away? No. Okay, let's, let's chase. Let's chase, because I really do want to kill that guy. If I can. Let's... Okay, where, where did you teleport off to? Probably down into one of these caves, right? Or despawn? Yeah, I mean, I can't see... See anything on the on the mini map, and the only markers are oh wow this way, and that's a zombie for sure. That's more zombie. That's even more zombies. Okay, never mind these. Those are no fun. Missed our opportunity. Oh well. Anyway, we got our piece of glass. Let's make a tank. Seared tank, and that just leaves. Let's check this out. 18 seared bricks. So it's going to be 18 times 4. Because the bricks are still this, right? Don't tell me these are EFAB. Okay, no. So we can make half of them. Another shovel bites to dust. So while we're waiting, let's uh, just make a new one. More sticks. Okay. So, shovel, I mean, it's definitely going to be worthwhile to get Tinker's tools, <laughs> because this is really annoying. Hopefully those are so that is so loud. Hopefully those are still the same materials and not, like, ex extremely expensive or something. Could be, I don't know. Uh, let's make some more of these. Let's see how far we are. Six more, so we're getting there. Three more, and that's our shovel. 
Okay, so that's that's enough to complete the quest, but it's probably not enough to make a good smeltery. I mean, it's probably enough to make a minimal smeltery, because otherwise this quest would seem fairly silly, but uh, we're going to want more. So, uh, we have 20 more smelting there, 19 smelting there. We're probably going to want some more. Maybe I'll just wait with making more. <laughs> we're on the verge of completing this thing now. Okay, so that's two more. We need one more of these. So four more of the bricks. All right, here we go. Four bricks makes a brick block there. And that completes the quest. Meltery is done, and that gives us a lava can that doesn't consume these, which is very nice. And that uh, opened up cranking up the heat, which is a clockwork engine. Okay, cool. Let's figure that one out. Clockwork engine. Clockwork engine is 80. Ooh, we're stepping it up. A block of gold. A clock, which is the vanilla recipe. A piston, which is... Also the vanilla recipe, but with a bunch of different options. Wait. Yeah, it's a sticky piston. And a gold gear, which you can cast. Okay. So we, we probably better off casting the gear. That's probably the best, best we can do. But we need a block of gold. And even more gold, and then some more gold. <laughs> so we're going to have to go mining for sure. Uh, let's, let's wait with that, though. Let's focus on getting our smeltery setup done here. Uh, so we have a bunch of blocks here. Let's... Hmm. How do we... How do we do this? Okay, let's maybe put that like at, as a part of the wall rather than as a part of the house, I guess. Which means you'd want the controller to be like here. Oh, I'm gonna have to move the furnaces, but that's fine. Um, so, which in that case, we want. Okay, so let's make it three by three. That means we have the floor starting here. One, two, three. One, two, three. This way, there. And then the controllers and stuff goes here. So, all right, let's well, we'll just fill those in and get rid of some, some of the junk around here. Aha, uh -huh. so, might be good with the second tank, actually. Let's, let's make the second tank. And for that, that means we're going to have to put down the furnaces again. Those can also be a part of the wall. Why not? And let's smelt up some sand. And fail. What's that? Flash shards. Can we craft those? Ooh. Cool. Okay. So not so much fail then. <laughs> I accidentally put it next to the, the crafting table instead of clicking on the crafting table. So let's see. We'll do that. And then this in between. And then we'll want the uh, this controller on top here. Uh-huh. And then we want a drain here. I'm actually going to make a second drain. Okay, yeah, we're definitely going to need more blocks here. So we have two drains. I'm going to need another faucet for this. It's, that's half of the blocks I have left there. I guess while that's cooking out, let's deal with this chest situation. Oh, God. Uh, I'm going to need to actually pick up the chest, which I don't think I did. Oh, there we go, and I threw it out. Mm-hmm. So, these are done. Let's grab these. I'm not sure it'll be enough. Six. It will not. Okay, so we'll need, we'll need to get more material. One, two, three, five, six. We need three more of these, and then we're done. And then we're also going to want a casting uh, basin. So... Yeah, we'll need a bunch more gravel. We only have two. So let's go find gravel again, I guess. Which I had tons of somewhere, but okay, hold on, hold on. Before anything else, I'm going to go back up here and then we're going to make... Here. Oh god, the screen. Uh, we're going to make a waypoint that says home. Home is a nice golden color. Save... Okay, now we can go. 
And of course now we're getting tons of flint, which we don't need anymore. Now that we just need the gravel. Aluminium. Okay, well I surely take that. What's this? Bauxite from Tech Reborn. Um, I think I'm gonna ignore that for now. It's incredibly annoying to mine stuff underwater here. Just want my good old grout. So I needed three more blocks. That's 12 more grout. And then I need a basin, which is like basically an upside down pants kind of thing. Which is seven. And I have three. So I need four more from that. We need 16 more. All right, so now that's the final block in our smeltery. See, it comes online, it's awake. Uh, let's take the lava can, which I assume we can dump in there, okay. That, that's not amazing amounts, to be honest. Now, the next big question, though, is, does the smeltery double ore? So these are, well, that was a bunch. That's 9, 11 ore. Does that give us more than 11 ingots? 11 ingots. Okay. That should really come as no surprise. So we could cast the block that we need for that, but we'll still need more. On the other hand, we also need the the molds and stuff. We could make that out of uh, alumin, aluminum brass. Okay, aluminum brass. Which is an uh, alloy of alumin, aluminum, I guess. And copper, but it's three aluminum to one copper. And right now we have one aluminum. This one, right there. Don't think we have any more. Put that, no, we can't put that in. So that's not very useful. We're gonna have to use the gold to make our molds. So we can make tools and stuff. So this is, um, yeah, it's gonna, we're gonna use this gold up, That's but that's just gonna be, that's gonna have to be fine. Yeah, so essentially any gear by the looks of things. What's this? Steel gear. Oh, well, that's not helping. But how do we begin? This all leaves, leads back onto itself. Oh, we can use a wooden gear. Aha. Uh -huh. Which, conveniently, I already have a bunch. Alright, so since the other ones are kind of a pain to get, we are going to use the gold for it, which is sad, but hey, what can you do? That used up two ingots. All right, fine. Oh, I thought it would use up the gear. It was supposed to use up the gear. Anyway, we hit the gear cast, so that's nice. And we could make the golden gear, but we might as well not. Okay, so what What else? What does it take to make... Well, I'm not even going to look at upgrading the table that we would need to make a hammer and uh, an excavator and stuff. That's going to... It's going to be way out of reach, but we could make ourselves a new pickaxe, I guess, which would be nice. Okay, so now those uh, also need a binding. We'll make it out of paper, because that makes sense. And now we go here, and then we make a pickaxe out of these pieces. That goes there, that goes there, and that goes there. So the bronze pickaxe, which is, you know, it's something. A first tinker's tool. Let's try it out. That looks pretty good. It looks like it's uh, fairly durable. Yeah. Uh, and it's getting XP. Okay, cool. 560 durability versus 250 on the iron pickaxe. So this is going to last a lot longer and it can then be repaired, which is very nice. Very nice indeed. So we did a quest, we made some progress, and we have a new fancy pickaxe that I will call a success for today. So let's take a look at this actually before we round off for today. Clockwork engine, I guess that is really the next thing. There's also the like cupboards and stuff here. I guess we get a loot chest from that, so 
The basic drawer is not too bad, and an upgrade template, that's a little bit worse, I believe that takes gold. And the compacting drawer, no, okay, no, 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 not a drawer controller, no, we're not doing that yet. Okay, so next time we'll head off and we'll go explore the cave systems around here. There's like one or two or three entrances here. We'll go explore that, light up some stuff, and find a whole bunch of ores, hopefully, that we can bring home to make our clockwork engine. That would be cool. But that will be next time. Thank you very much for joining me for Feed the Beast Continue. See you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.